Hello, Tootie. My name is Jerry Cox. I'm a 58-year-old horseman born into a horse-breaking, bronc-riding, and suicide-racing family in the little town of Omak, Washington. I won second riding pony broncs at age nine. My folks moved us to Alaska when I was a teenager, and at age 19, and not having a horse, I did the next best thing. I became one of Alaska's very first ice road truckers. Horses were always in my blood, so at age 25, I bought my first place, built a corral, and started learning how to break horses. In Alaska, I won several cross-country endurance races, grand champion at reining, and working cow horse on more than one occasion, and competed in team roping, calf roping, trail challenges, and bareback bronc riding. I was soon starting horses for other people and riding in as many horsemanship clinics as I could, and at the age of 52, made a radical life change. My wife Kathleen and I, we left Alaska and bought a beautiful horse ranch in Northeast Washington, where I've been starting colts and putting on and hosting clinics and competing ever since. I placed third in two consecutive Extreme Mustang Makeover events and took third at the Washington Horse Expo Extreme Trail Race. In fact, the day you announce the wild card contestants, I'll be competing in a Craig Cameron Extreme Cowboy Race, so wish me luck. I'm a huge Road to the Horse fan and came to watch when my friend and mentor Chris Cox won in 2011. That was soon after he put on a three-day clinic at our ranch. I've ridden with many world champions, Chris Cox, Craig Cameron, Al Dunning, and I'm a featured student in the Les Boat Cowboy U videos. I've ridden with Abby Casenza, Walt Woodard, Mike Beers, and Bobby Harris, and also natural horseman Stormy Mullins. I've also ridden with my friend and mentor Steve Rother for almost 12 years. Although I don't make any claim to be the most accomplished horseman around, I do have well over 400 colt starts under my belt and I think I turn out a pretty good horse. I start about 25 colts each year and recently started a Hollywood Dunnett colt for Jim Canna, multi-world champion Becca Larson. I also provide riding instruction for the U.S. Border Patrol in their Project Noble Mustang program. I've had some really good teachers and mentors and if selected, I'll try to make them all proud. I want to thank you for giving us all the opportunity to throw our names in the wild card hat for 2014. And if selected, Kathleen and I promise to be worthy Tootie Bland showmen, representatives, and promoters of your great event. We try to enjoy life to the fullest. We love meeting new people and we have a lot of fun. We went down to the Pidcock Ranch down in Prosser, Washington. They've had an ad in Western Horseman for over 30 years. Generally reads, big hips and pretty faces. Their horses are primarily cutting and reining stock and they've been sold all over the US, Canada, and even Europe. With hard winters up here in the Northwest, it was kind of tough to find an unhandled three-year-old gelding on short notice, but these two fillies ought to make a pretty good showing of how I like to handle a colt, so let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, Judy, I got you a couple of two-year-old fillies. It is the dead of winter up here in the northwest. We've got a couple of feet of snow outside. And uh, we're going to go ahead and sort one of them out of here, and we'll just take the one that's left, and I'll show you our 59 minutes and 59 seconds on how we start colts here at the Mountain House Stables. There you go. Okay. Okay, well, we gave the girls a couple of minutes to saddle. And uh, for me, when I walk into a pen with a brand new colt, I try not to pay them any attention at first. I just kind of watch out of the corner of my eye. I want to see if she's going to be curious about me. Before I start in on her, I'm just going to see if I can't walk around and see if I can't get her to kind of look at me a little bit. She's already kind of thinking about me, which I like. I like that. Good girl. Now they told me the two colts here that this one here might be the tougher of the two and she has been real standoffish and when we went to catch him she was she was a little more standoffish uh, the other one would stick its nose out kind of sniff at us but this one here well she made sure she kept a one or good girl good girl she made sure she kept one or two horses between us now when she turned to me right there i just really broke down and walked clean away. Now she's kind of losing focus here. This is all okay because here in a second I'm going to show her that I can make her move her feet. Right now 
I'm just somebody in the pen with her, not telling her to do anything, but pretty soon I'm going to let her know that, that I can boss her around a little bit. Good girl. When she looked at me, I'll just walk off here. So what I'm going to do is, is try to establish just a little level of communication with her, and then let her know that I have a little bit of leadership over her. Pretty soon she'll start to respect my leadership just a little bit. Soon enough she'll begin to trust some good girl. She'll trust some of my leadership. And when I have all that going for me, I'll have the beginning of a partnership. Good girl. Good girl. Where I only need 51% ownership. So I'm going to be clean, clear, concise, and consistent when I start to cue on her so that every time I do give her a little cue, she, she should know what it means. I won't mix it up. I won't be confusing. Good girl. Every time you look at me, I'll give you a little break. But now here in a sec, I'm going to let her know, girl, when I point my hand, I ask you to move. It's time to go. That's right. That's right. I can get behind you and kind of push you along. But, but when I point my finger, that's right, you move off. When I point, you move. If you don't move, I will escalate some pressure and get you to move. Good girl. Good girl. I'll let her know I can drive her along. Every time she looks out at, out at her friend, I'll escalate a little pressure. She kind of glanced at me here a couple times and right in here. Watch. Every time she calls out to her friends, or I'll get after her a little bit. If you'll take that little peek, girl, there. Good. What I saw there a couple of laps ago is right about there and right about here. She glanced a little glance at me. So she's kind of already established a spot that she feels safe to give me a little peek. She might even do it again right about there when that little head starts to come to me. Good girl. Good. Now these colts, neither one of them have ever been haltered or handled. They've been raised on a couple of hundred acres with about 30 other horses. And the only time they've been handled is in a squeeze chute. And that was for branding and inoculation when they were young yearlings. So other than that, they turned out, go ahead and travel off. Good girl. Go ahead and travel off. Let's move out a little bit. I can keep you moving. There's that little sweet spot that I saw that glance again. And every time she'll risk that glance, I'll let her step into the middle there. Good. Good girl. Let's see if you can take a little whip of my fingers here. Good. If you'll just take a little look. I'll leave you alone there. Don't be looking at your girlfriend there. She'll just get you in trouble. There you go. Get curious. Here. Huh? There you go. See here? There. Whoops. Are you Okay, why don't you just kind of walk up this way now? now? She knows where the gate is. So we got to caution ourselves that we don't scare her to want to jump that gate. But we don't let her stall out there either, see? We should be able to... We should be able to anticipate that she don't want to stop at that gate. She showed us a couple signs. So we're going to stay ahead of her right there see how she wanted to hesitate and maybe think about going over that gate we'll keep the pressure on her there now i'm going to start watching for the sign on this side a little spot right there she kind of took her little glance let's try that again here i am here i am there you are. good girl so they'll have to kind of pick a spot what you want to look there you go they'll kind of pick a spot where they'll Run that wrist. Take, take that little look in there. Good girl. Let me come over this way. Good girl. Keep looking. Don't look at your girlfriend. She'll get you in trouble. Good girl. Good. Keep looking. Keep looking. Take a little whiff. There you go. Good girl. There you go. That's enough. She'll just give me a little acknowledgement. See, I'll turn her loose. There. You want to leave me? Go ahead. You want to start making the decisions? Then I'll give you a little correction. You'll go when you're told to go. 
And I'll give you every opportunity to stand still. Here, she's, she's, she's already looking in here. Good. Good girl. That's good. Then come over this way. You like that, huh? Good. Good. You like that? Here, let me come over this way. Keep looking. Keep looking. Keep looking. Keep looking. Good. Good, good, good. Watch this. Good, good. Come here. Come here. Good. Good. Did you like that? Huh? Huh? Don't let me get my butt, your butt to me here. Let's not let that happen. Keep that head locked on here. Good girl. Good. Let's go. Let's go this way. Good girl. Okay, let's sniff me. There you go. That's enough. Want to try that again? Huh? Huh? There you go. That's good. We'll get you going here. Good. I like that. Boy, she really spun around and locked her head on me. Come here. Good. Good. Yeah, you're kind of forgetting about your little girlfriend out there, aren't you? Look. You like being with me or Thelma? Th Come on. Good, good. Come on. Come on. Keep coming. Good girl. Give me a little whiffy. There you go. That's enough. Keep coming. Come on around. Don't do that. Who? Good. There you go. I'll let her kind of think about what's just happened here in the last couple of minutes. She'll kind of think that maybe looking at me and sticking around with me might be a little bit of a deal. Worrying about her girlfriend. Running around that round pen. You want to sniff? Huh? Huh? You want a little whippy there? Huh? Huh? Good. But she looks the nervous type, see? Good. Good. There you go. Good. Yeah, get both sides. Come on around this way. Good girl. Yeah, come on around. Come on around. Good. She's just a baby. It's not like she's mean, but she's a little nervous. Good girl. Good, you're okay. You got a big old cockle burr in your forelock there, it looks like. Good girl. Come on. Come on. We've had some of those Mustangs in here. Man, they get kind of nervous like that. They might strike out or bite at you, you know. Good girl. She doesn't act like she's mean, but she's a little nervous for some reason. Good girl. Good. Come on around. Good. You liking that okay? Huh? Good. Okay, I'll give you a little break there. So she's figuring out that maybe sniffing me or letting me get in there close isn't that bad of a deal. Let's come over this way again. You liking that? Huh? Good. Give me a little sniff. Good. Good. Uh. Like that? Huh? Don't lose focus. Don't lose focus. Don't lose focus. Good. Good. I like that. You want to be my friend? Huh? Good. try to rub her all over. I'm going to reach out and give her a little touch. Good. When she gives me a little acknowledgement, I take my hand away. I need to give her a little touch. Good. I don't want to think I'm just going to rush in there and just try to pet her and pet her and pet her. Good. There you go. I'll let her want to come to me. You want to come to me? Huh? Kind of liking that, huh? Kind of liking that? Huh? There you go. Yeah, now for another second to kind of look. You gonna follow me now? Huh? You gonna follow me? Huh? Yeah, I like that. Come here. Come over here. Good. You can follow me. I'm gonna take you anywhere to get you hurt. I'll try to teach you something here. Good girl. Good. Huh? Come over here. There you go. Come here. Good. 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 
give her a second to think about how friendly I'm being to her and remind her that I, I control the feet. I make you come and I make you go. I say when and I say when. You see that hand come up, you move. And when you see me step up and catch your eye, you come. Good. Good girl. And you think about that. And you think about that. Give me a little, give me a little sniff. Don't back off. Come this, this way. Here, over here. Don't, don't get that butt turned to me. Don't sniff the poo. Okay, move off. Okay, give me a little look. Good girl. Good girl. acknowledgement and I'll make it go away give it a little sniff don't look over there you go second ago, just like that. Huh? It's not that bad, is it? Huh? Come over here. Keep that butt away from me. Good. Ooh, ooh. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. Good. 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 Good girl. Good girl. I'm going to protect myself here just in case she gets herself a little nervous and thinks that maybe she should bite. Good girl. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Nothing to be that nervous about, huh? Follow me over this way. Come here. Come here. Don't get that butt to me. There you go. Good. Good girl. Mm. Let's try rubbing down that other side. Well, you're okay. There you go. Let's rub on this side a little bit. Come here. Good. There you go. Good. Good. Ah, good girl. Good girl. I only gave her what I thought she could handle there. See, I see. She like she might want to leave. Come on, come around. Put over here. Hey. Don't let that butt get over here. She acted like she might want to leave, so I quit on her. I quit before she got herself nervous and thought about leaving herself. I left her first. Good. You're okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. You like this side better? Huh? You like that side better? We got to get both sides working. We got to get both sides working. Good girl. Yeah, get over on that side. Ooh. Here. Here. There you go. Come on. 
Is your nervous side? Huh? There you go. Good. Good. She's kind of licking and chewing. I saw that leg start to come up, so I quit on her, see? I didn't want her to get nervous, but get the, let's get that butt out of the way. Follow me over here. Oh, there. Good. Good girl. Ooh. Ooh. Good. You want me to rub this side, huh? Let me get over there. There you go. There you go. Good. I'm going to watch this right front leg when it starts to come up. See, I quit on her. There. If I'd have kept rubbing, she'd have left there, see? Or I ran the risk of her stepping off and then maybe scaring herself and kicking at me or something. Come over here now. Good. 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 So far. All she, all she has felt is my hand on her body. Good girl. So here in a second, I'll start reaching out. There you go. I'm trying to touch her with the tail of this rope. Don't get your butt to me. You know I don't like that. Good. You're okay. You're okay. So pretty soon I'll start reaching out and touching her with the tail of that rope. Why don't you just go ahead and go away now? There you go. No. I know you like coming in here, and I like that. I appreciate it. But I tell you when to come, and I tell you when to go. Good girl. Good girl. I'll tell you when to come and go. Go ahead and come. There you go. Good. Good. You don't come because you want to. You come because I say you can. Good. Good. That's what I like. Good. Now, that's the first time she's let me just reach up there and just rub right, right between her eyes and her blind spot there. Good. Good. Hey, what you got there? A little rope? Huh? Don't turn it. Don't get that butt over here. There you go. Good. Uh, there you go. Good girl. Is this your good spot, huh? Huh? Is that what you like? We'll get up against her here a little bit. There you go. She can feel that halter's touching her now. There you go. Well, that rope's kind of rubbing on her. Good girl. Better come back over here. You're letting that butt get too close. There you come. Good. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Let's get rubbed up against you there a little bit. Can you feel all that? Good girl. Come over here. Come on. Stick with me. Stick with me. Don't go over there. Come over here. Good. Good. That's what we're looking for. Good. Okay, I'll give her just a little bit of a break. Let her kind of think about what we've done the last few minutes. Pretty soon I'm going to start to slip this rope up and around her neck and let her kind of feel it. We can put things on. We can put things off. We approach. We can retreat. We're not going to ever do anything that will hurt her and scare her. Good girl. Good. Good. Good girl. You liking that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you feel that rope on you now? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Good. Good. If she wanted to leave, I'd just let her go. But I would try to walk away before I felt her wanting to leave. I wouldn't try to restrain her. Good. Here you are. Good. Good. Good girl. You feel that rope on you now, huh? Can you feel that rope on you? Good. Good girl. There. See, that didn't hurt, does it? Huh? Huh? Can you feel that rope? Good. Good. Good girl. That rope didn't hurt you. Good. What about your girlfriend over there? Good girl. Good girl. What about your girlfriend over there? 
good. I'm going to try something here. Just put a little bit of pressure on that net. There. Good. Pick up there just a little. There. That's good. That's enough. Good. Can you feel me kind of tug on you there? Good. You're already ready to lead, huh? Huh? You're already ready to lead. Huh? Good girl. Ooh, ooh. Good girl. Good girl. Good. You come this way. Good girl. You come. Good girl. Good. Ooh. Ooh. Good girl. Good. Now she can feel that halter all over her chin and all over her face. Give her what I think she can handle. Good. Good. Think about that. Come back in there in a second. And we'll see about getting that halter on her head. Whoops, don't let that butt get towards me. Don't let that butt get towards me. Good girl. Good. We don't like that, do we? Huh? Good girl. Who? Who? Good. You like me that? for let it kind of feel that good girl good girl you kind of feel that halter on your head now huh can you feel that on your head good girl Just kind of rub that around there uh-huh rub that around there good girl good you're a little crusty under there Ticklish under there, huh? Huh? There you go. Good. 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 There you go. She's already thought about just following me with her head. Good. It's a lot easier to just keep her head towards me. So when I walk off, she's almost oblivious to the fact that I got this rope attached to her. If I were to give it a good tug or a jerk or something, she's liable to panic and pull back on it. But I want to do everything I can not to ever scare her. I want her to trust me. So I'm not going to like show you what it would look like if I gave her a good hard tug, but she would resist, and I don't want that. Good. Good girl. You feel that rope? Huh? You feel that rope all around you? That doesn't hurt you, does it? Huh? Get your head this way just a little bit. Good. Good girl. Oops. Just a little bit. Good girl. Good girl. Boop. I know. I know. Boop. 
there. I just kept rubbing her there. She, she wanted, whoops, don't get your face in my way here. But she thought about moving back there. I just kept rubbing until I felt she was going to stand still. When she quit, when she stood still, I let her up. I'll keep her head cocked here just a There you go. That's when I quit, when you got quiet. So pretty soon she'll start realizing that she'll keep herself quiet. Maybe I'll just leave her alone. Hold her here. There. Don't, don't get your face in the way. When I think I can get her to stand quiet for me, I'm going to start teaching her how to move her hip on command here. It's one of the first things I'm going to teach. Good. Look at you. Look at you follow that strength. Good girl. So when I approach her here, I'm going to draw myself a little magic triangle on the ground. As long as I'm inside this triangle, she's going to think that's a little safety zone. Now I'm going to get to where I can approach both sides, get her standing nice and quiet. Good. She thinks I'm just going to walk back and forth and rub on her. Good. But here in about three more trips, I'm going to stop out there on the point of that triangle, my head, and I'm going to look at her hip. I'm going to pick that I have a rope. I'll twirl it a couple of times, let her know I know how to swing it. Spank her, tap her on the butt until her butt swings sideways. And then I'll reward her for the correct movement. I'm going to take a look, show her the rope, swing the rope in. Tap, whoa. You think about what just happened to you there. She goes, hey, wait a minute. Maybe this guy will hit me. Maybe he's more than just Mr. Rub-a-dub-dub. Well, she only gets struck if she doesn't respond to the cue I give her. I give her every chance. I'm going to take a look. There you go. This is what I love about baby horses. Man, they pick this stuff up so quick. Good. I'm just going to go to the other side. And I'll never work this side until I know she's solid on the other side. Good. Face out of my way. I'm going to take a look, show you the rope, and when you move, I'll reward you. Good girl. I'll take a look. Good. You figured that out, huh? Good girl. So right now, she's thinking she kind of likes standing here with me getting rubbed good we'll test that other side again make sure it wasn't just a fluke just give me the hip good good could you do that on this side when I ask for it mm hmm so when I come back to this side I'll come back to her right I'll stop at that point on that triangle I'll take the look show her the rope there there you go Try not to jerk her face. I'm trying to drive her hip. I'll try to give her every opportunity to understand that when I look, that's her cue to go. Swing that hip. Don't, don't get scared there. And as long as I'm upright and relaxed, I'll never get at you and I'll never hurt you. But when I cock my head and I ask you to move that hip, you better get moving or I'm going to show you the rope and show you I know how to spank. Good girl. Good. Take a look. The hip. There you go. Up a little close to the fence on that one. That's okay. Don't, don't, don't run off. There. And if she runs off, then that's a great time to go after that hip. Uh, right now, see, she's saying, wait a minute, maybe I don't trust you as much as I did. I say, girl, I'm just here to rub. You know I'm going to spank when I crouch over and take a good solid look at that hip. But if she runs past me, I'm going to bend over, show her the rope, 
and give her a little spank and swing her hip out of the way before she has a chance to kick at me on the go-by. Good. Take a look, show you the rope, spin the rope, swing the hip away. Good girl. Let me just walk in here. Hey, 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 hey. Let me just walk in here and love you now. You did the right thing. There's nobody getting excited. I'm not getting excited. I want you to get excited. Step out, take a look, show her the rope. There you go. I wanted. You me like a book, huh? You think you understand all that now, huh? Good. Step back, take a look. Good girl. Now I'm just going to give her a little break. She just absorbed quite a bit there. Let her kind of think about what just happened. And look at you, let me rub you right between the eyes. Look at that. That's what I like. You want to follow me over here? Huh? Good girl. So the first thing I like to do is get them quiet and then show them that I can control their hips. When that starts working, I like to show them that I can control the shoulders. I want to start sending her around or lunging her left and right. So when I get ready to send her to the left and the right here, I step out, say, girl, I want you to go to my left. If you don't seem to understand that, let me show you this rope. I'll show you I know how to spin it. I'm just going to kind of tap on you, tap on you, tap on you. I'm going to tap on you until you go to my left and forward. Thank you. Okay. Go to my left. I'll show you the rope. I'll spin the rope. I'm going to tap on you, tap on you. There. When you go left, I'll quit. Go to my left. I'll show you the rope. I'll spin it. There. If you leave, I don't even have to tap you. That's all right. Go to my left. I'll show you the rope. I'll sit there. If you'll just act like you're going to go left, I'll quit. Go left. I'll show it there. That's enough. Good. Good. Now go do that thing until I tell you to do something different. Just keep going. There you go. Good girl. Behind here, I'm pushing her along with my eyes. If she started to panic or run off, I'd step and I'd drive that hip away from her. And then tell her how smart she was. Yeah, you're smart. It's okay. You're smart. Good girl. Now remember what I just showed you? Huh? Go to my left or I'll show you the rope. Yeah. As long as she acts like she's going to drift left, I leave her alone. Go to my left or I'll show you the rope. I'll, there you go. Pretty soon she'll feel the change in the swing on that rope, you see. She'll feel me pick that rope up and point left. I won't have to even pick up and swing this rope. She'll respond to the change of the weight of that rope. Here, go ahead and swing that hip away. Good. Good girl. You're okay. Yeah. We're having fun now. We're learning stuff together. You got that big old burr in your forehead. Somebody ought to take that out. Can you go to my right where I'll show you the rope and spin the rope? Got to reteach her. She's thinking left. See, there. She thought about going right. Go right or I'll show you the rope and I'll spin the rope. Tap you, tap you, tap you, tap you. There. All you can do is act like you're going to go and I'll leave you alone. <laughs> now she blew and got real scared. I've already taught her how to swing her hip. Yeah. If you get scared, I'll just swing your hip away for you, and then you can look at me, and we can have a little love affair going on again. You liking that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you go to my right? I'll show you the rope. I'll tap on you. I'll tap on you. There. Don't look at your girlfriend. She'll get you in trouble. I rarely let him go more than a couple of laps around. Go ahead and swing that hip. There you go. Then I'll start mixing it up. Uh, we don't just call it lunging. You know, I don't just send him around just to say, hey, hey, I didn't ask you to walk off. That's right. 
There are consequences for that. You don't just walk off. I'll tell you when you come and go. Yeah. We start mixing it up, giving a little half laps and quarter laps. Go to my left and I'll show you the rope. There. And go to my left or I'll show you the rope and I'll swing the rope and tap on you if I have to. Good. And go ahead and swing your hip. Good, not because I'm pulling your face, because I'm sending your hip. Now go to my right. Go to my right or I'll... There you go. Good. She's smart. Now, something we should all be observing. When I sent her to my left, when I first started approaching her, she was good with me coming up on this side. She kind of liked it. She didn't like me coming up on that other side much. When I send her with her good side to me, watch how she walks off. Uh, well, she made a liar out of me. But see how she's just kind of, she's casual here. But when I send her the other way with her bad side towards me, she's a little more hyper on that side. Just go ahead and swing that hip. Good girl. You're smart. Go to my right, or I'll swing the rope. So don't, don't get in a panic. Go to there. Now what I liked about that right there is I just acted like I was going to point that rope. And even if that was an accident, I rewarded her for it because it flipped on that little tiny light bulb in her brain. Hey, when he picked that rope up, when he looks at my hip, I guess I better move or he starts to get a little more aggressive. So I give her every opportunity to do things right on the tiniest cue I can give her. Go to my right or I'll show... There you go. Now she's kind of settled into this, going this direction, but before she would trot off when she would go with her bad side to me. And go ahead and swing your hip. Hey, your hip, wake up. Good. Now go to my left. My left, there. I'll let her go a little ways. I'll make her think. Go ahead and swing that hip. There. Now go to my right. No, my other right. There you go. There you go. Try to keep out of harm's way. If she gets scared and over-rotates and gets her hip to me, she may kick at me. I don't know. She seems pretty gentle natured, but... But we also know she's had a couple of little nervous spells. Yeah, the other way. There you go. Good. Let's see if she can change directions on the fly. Now go to my right. To my right. Here. There. I didn't ask her to swing her hip out of the way. I gave her every opportunity to learn. Swing the hip. Go where I point, like that, good girl. Swing your hip, and go where I point, good girl. Now, don't talk to your girlfriend, she'll just get you in trouble. Now what I wanna see is she can figure out how to just go where I point without, just go where I point, go where I point without turning your hip to me. There, there. She goes, hey man, every other. Every other time, you let me slow down and swing my hip out of the way. Now just go where I point. Go where I point. Go where I point. There. This is where I start. Hey, hey, don't talk to your girlfriend. Go, go where I point. There you go. Here, go where I'm pointing. I'm pointing right. Can you feel that knot? Can you feel that knot? There you go. Here, go. Go where I'm pointing. Go where I'm pointing. There. There you go. Go the other way now. Go. There. Go. And get your butt to me. Don't get your butt to me. I don't like that. Good girl. Well, now you're breathing hard.
And go to my right. Good. If you figure that out, don't stop at that gate. That's when your hip out of the way. Good. You think about what we just worked on there. Huh? How's that working for you? Is that better? Huh? Is that better? You understand that better? Hey. I never asked you to leave. I never asked you to leave. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Good. Good, who? Huh? Good. 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 Good girl. Good. Good girl. Get that hip up. Thank you. Go ahead and go to my left. Thank you. My left. My other left. There you go. And now go to my right. There. Good. Don't get your hip I don't like that. Go to my right. Go to my left. Good. And swing your hip out of the way. Good. 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 Let me see if we can't get her to start softening her face to the pull of the halter here. I'm just going to pick it up and make a little contact. She can feel that little bit of pressure. I want her to respond, start responding to the change in the weight of that lead rope. Good. Good. I don't pull, I just go to the point of contact. Good. If she wants to resist, I'll just wait with her. Good. Good. Yo, you get it all back for that one. How do you like that? Huh? Huh? Let's try this side again. Contact, release, contact, and wait, and release, contact, contact, and release, and contact, and release, contact, and wait. You release. Look at that. Oh, you're good. I don't care if you are trying to bite me. You are trying to bite me. So, uh, what we like to do... Everything we do on the ground should be a simulation. Try to do it the I'm going to try to aim for what I think is about the D-rings of the saddle there, because that will simulate going to my knee. I pick up, make contact, release, contact and release, contact and release contact barely make contact I'm gonna wait for you there there I'm not gonna get in a fight or tug of war I want her to try to understand the tiniest cue I can give her she will get a full reward I'll wait she did kind of nip at me there 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 contact I'll wait for you I'll wait for you I'm gonna wait for you what I like here is that she, she's keeping her feet still. Just there. Any hint, any hint, any hint that she comes my way, don't nip at me. Any hint that she comes my way, you make sure she doesn't bite. Me. Any hint that she comes my way, I'll wait for her. You gotta be stopped and soft, baby. When you get stopped and soft. I'll let you have that rope back. Good. So now these little tiny light bulbs will start going on in her head. When her feet are stopped and her neck is soft, when she surrenders to that rope, I'll just wait for you. There. She'll get tired of those knots digging in. There. There. Don't, don't get nippy. Don't hang on it. There. Good. Good. That looks good. 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 Just follow the weight of that rope. That's enough. I don't want to pull her head around. I want her to realize when she feels that rope come up and make contact, if she'll keep it soft and loose, that's her reward. Good. Good. Just make contact.
contact and wait. Now, when I start a colt, <clears throat> I'll do this a couple of hundred times every time I ride them. Maybe not right here on the ground. Maybe not all at once. But maybe I'll do 20 or 30 right now just to make sure that I know she understands me. And then we'll come back and visit it again a little bit later. And then when I start riding her, I'll start to flex her head before I ever ride off on her. Good. Just make it good. Good. Then when I'm out riding, I'll stop someplace and let her rest and then maybe flex her head a few times. I'll keep that so fresh in her mind. She knows when she feels me pick up that rein just like that, that it's time to come. Good, good. That's showing pretty good smarts on this little horse who's never had a halter on her head before. Good. Started out just a little, little bit nervous. Good. Good. Come here. I'm just going to make there. Just pick it up and make contact and wait for her. I'll wait there. And reward for every tiny little try. I will reward for the slightest hint of proper response. Just give me a hint. Just give me a hint. Don't worry about your friends outside. They're making a little noise in the barn. Just, just read there. Whoop. But you got to be stopped. Stopped. you got to be stopped and soft. Let's let that nose come to me. There it is. Even if it's a hint, I'll reward that. Just your little halter for you. And hold on it when I've gotten stretched out. How much time have I had? 50 past. 50 minutes is past. Well, so I'm almost at an hour. I'm at, yeah, I'm showing 50, 53 okay. right here. So, so now <clears throat> I got her neck flexing for me left and right. I'm going to see if I can't get this little horse to lower her head for me. I'm just going to squeeze and wait and squeeze a little harder and then start to rock her a little bit. I'm going to wait, wait. There. There. Come back. There. Squeeze. I don't push down. There. See, when she drops her head, even a fraction. There. I let go. Good. Good. I'll rub you down there. I'll rub you down there. So, I know this horse, horse has never had a bridle on. Hell, it's the first time she ever had a halter on. Good. 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 So I'm going to give her a little test right now. Kind of get her ready for the bridle, which we would do in our next session here. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Good. I'm going to rub on her face here. And I'm just going to slip my little finger in the corner of her mouth there. I'll let her kind of feel that. There. There. When her head kind of came low left, I just took my finger out. I'll rub her on the face. I'll slip that little finger in there again. Good. As long as that head came down and came left, I quit on her there. I'll rub her a little bit. Stick a middle finger in there this time. Let her chew on that for a second. As long as she's low and left, I'll take it back out. Good girl. I'll stick that finger back in there. Just soften that up there. As long as you get soft and come low and left, good. I'll take it back out. Now, I'm not really pulling her head around. I'm encouraging her head to come this way. There, she could did that all on her own. Just drop low left. I'll get two fingers in there this time. Good girl. You chew on that for just a second. Get soft. Low left. There. Good girl. Good girl. Look at here. She's already got her head low left. She goes, oh, man, if I just leave it there, maybe he'll leave me alone. Let's try that again. Two fingers, low left, low and left. Good, good, good. This might be a little too soon. I'm going to see if I can't get a grip on her tongue. Quietly, quietly. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Come low left. Come low left. Come low left. Fingers, get a little grip on your tongue. Don't panic. Don't panic. There you go. There. You just slipped up the side of her mouth right there. And that's the beginning, you see. 
So here in a second, if I worked at this for another couple of minutes, I want her to have a real good experience about this. I don't want to get in a fight. There, she's low left. So in the next session around, I'll get a grip on that tongue and I'll make her hold that tongue out of her mouth and then go low left. You're okay. You're okay. There. Since she came low left, so I quit. Good. I'll quit. Try it again. I don't want things to go from bad to worse. There. Get soft. There. Okay. How much time do I have, Kat? Five more minutes. Okay. So we got five minutes left. <clears throat> Might as well work on a little bit of de-spook and stuff with her. Well, I got five minutes. She's probably not going to like this much, but there you go. Can you see there? She'll give me any sign of acknowledgement of that flag. I'll take it away from her. Pretty soon she'll think. Looking at it, she can make it go away. How do you make that thing go away? That's right. You just give it a little look. Just give it a little look and an acknowledgement and a sniff and it'll go away. Reach out and touch you with it. See, it's not that bad. Good. And it goes away. Nothing will last forever, see. Good. Good. And I'll make it go away. Come here. You're okay. Good. I'll make it go away. I wouldn't just flog her with it and flood her with it. Good. Good. She's standing still. I give her a nice quiet reward for standing still. Good. So she kind of flinched when it approached her neck. Good. Good. Let me rub your neck with it. Yeah, that's my hand up there again. Good. Good. Here it comes. She's going to build her confidence that I would never take her any place to get her hurt or scared. There. You're standing quiet. Good. As long as you stand quiet, everything stays quiet, doesn't it? Huh? Good. And how much time I got, Kat? Four minutes. Four minutes left? <laughs> okay. There you go. Got to work both sides. There you go. Yeah, it's a little scary, isn't it? But see, she's already figured out keeping her feet quiet. A little better deal, hasn't she? Huh? Huh? Good girl. Look at you taking all that. Good. Yeah. Now this time... Good. You're okay. Don't be scared. Acknowledge it. There you go. Now. Yeah, you stand still and it goes away. Good. Yeah, it's a little scary, huh? Give it a little look. There you go. Good girl. Yeah. I like those moves with those front feet. Good. she stands quiet. See, I'll give her some rubby rubby. She goes to take off on me. I can stay after her with the flipping of that flag until she plants her feet. She'll start to figure out she can make that flag stop by standing still. <laughs> <coughs> that's the first 59 minutes and 59 seconds from my clock and uh, I think we'll call that good for now so appreciate the opportunity and uh, when we come back for our next session we'll work her a little more and we'll start getting her saddled and start moving her around and we'll start editing from that point forward and just start giving you little snippets of that and we'll put about four one hour sessions into her and we'll be riding her and taking her out and Set up a little obstacle course and we'll film all that. Start all over Thanks here. again for the opportunity. This is a...
day two will be the second hour we put in with this little horse. We spent an hour with her last night. Looky here. Looky here. We herded her into the pen here this morning. Oh, that's great. That's great. Hey, yeah, if you run off, somebody might come after you for that. Now, I didn't jerk on her face. I anchored the rope down. I let her run up to the end of that rope and try to drive her hip away. Good. There. Throwing the rope, I didn't pre-cue her to go. Well, I'm not going to pull her head around. I'm just going to... Good. Good. At first, she was doing it to evade me. And now she's going, hey, that guy does leave me alone when I do that. Think about my three basic leg positions. A little bit forward for shoulders, here in the middle for ribs, and back here for the hip. I'll kind of pick that spot where I think my heel would be tapping her. Yeah, sideways, sideways. And that's enough, and that's enough. Good, good. That's good enough. Ooh. Good. Can you give me a foot? Huh? Good. Good. Can you give me a foot? There you go. Good enough. Hey, looky here. I'm going to introduce something to you. Show me. You got a little curiosity about it. Give it a little bit of agnostic. Get you caught here. Don't hurt me. There you go. That won't hurt you. There. There. That's not bad. Good. There. Leaving. Hey. I want to get her moving. Hip first. Hip first. That's right. Yeah, see, she's more concerned about making sure that hip moves. That's right. Go this way. This way. There. Look at those moves. There you go. And swing that hip. Good. And go to my right. Good. There you go. Good. Pick up that correctly. There you go. And swing that hip away. Good. There you go. I want her to get used to that. Might just be the tail of a rope hanging down there. Or there you go. Good. I was gonna give her a little bit of action. There you go. Ooh. There, you feel all that, huh? You feel all that? Good. Good girl. Oh. You can move your hip just a step. Hair, <coughs> hair, skin, bone. There you go. That's enough. That's enough. There you go. There you go. You're okay. You're okay. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Move that hip. Good. I'll rock a little bit. Kind of give her a heads up of what we're about to do. Going to be a little motion going on up here. Yeah. There. 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 And we've already put our thumb in her mouth, her finger in her mouth. So we taught her. Now, I don't care if she fights it. There. We got it in. There. When your head came down, I'll take it back out. There. See, she's already thinking. Good girl. Turn back. There you go. That's okay. Pay attention. There you go. And open up. There you go. Good girl. Picked up the correct lead both directions. I like it. Good. 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 Ooh. 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 Good. I'm really liking that. Huh? Good. There. Go down, see you up. Rubby, rubby. There you go. And that's enough. That's enough. Well, I'm going to ask her to roll back to the fence here. Right here. There. There you go. There. Come on, keep moving. Keep moving. Just going to roll her here. Good. 
Good. Flexion. Heavy seat. Good. Flexion. Heavy seat. I like it. Let's go left. Good. Hey, when I double smooch, it's time to move. Okay, that's enough. We'll just sit up and relax. Come back to our quiet walk. Keep moving, though. Keep moving. There you go. We'll get her comfortable loping left, which is my comfort zone. See, I'm not pulling her. There we go. Good. I want her to feel that twist in my posture. Good. And when I sit up and relax, good, good. I'm going to correct her for being a little brat there. A couple of good laps with her. A couple of little buck sessions. See if I can't get her to back off just a little there. Get her to tuck that nose a little. Buck up a little bit. I mean back up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Day four, <clears throat> this is the Well, fourth. that's the end of day three. Can you move this hip? Can you move that hip? Good. Can you go left? I like it. Oop. What I do like here is that she's not fighting her head. She's making every attempt to keep that rein soft. I like. But what I want her to do is bring those feet to a stop. There you go. And have a soft face. Let's just do that on her. Her trick. There. Fresh on her. Turn back this way. I caution myself. Look at those turns. I'm loving it. Yeah, you're okay. Keep going. Turn back. Looky there. Good. Come back this way. Good. Good. You're okay. So I can get her to fall on her nose there a little bit. Turn back. Good. Increased chances of survival there. I'm trying to pre fuel her. go bad again by twisting my body and looking left before I pick up that rein and applying pressure with this outside leg. Come on. Hey, pick up the pace. Turn back. There you go. Dennis, open the gate. She knows that gate's open. She wanted to head over there. Oh, yes. Sweet. Sweet freedom there. Back up nice. Yeah. Back up nicely. There you go. Give me another. Get her out here. Good. Move the hip around, the hip around stuff. So she doesn't get herself all excited. Feel like she's got wide open spaces as she starts listening to that hip again. Good. Good girl. Let's go around that pole. Still going to the right. 
Change direction, start heading to the left. Lean back this way. Good girl. Good girl. Let's go around this pole. Put that hip around. Huh? Put that hip around there. Good. Can you back yourself up? Good. Again. Good. Again. Again. Can you peel off to the left here? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Can you go around this cone? Good girl. Good girl. Good. Come on. Move out. Move out. Move out. Come on. Move out. 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 There you go. There you go. Keep back up. Keep back up. Keep back up. Now just get your face off and I'll let you go. I'll take that. Soft as that. Well, we'll just call that the fourth day in, the, in a simple ride. <clears throat> and we never got bucked off. I'm not feeling 100% fighting pneumonia anyway. So, we call it a day. I'll let her know I'm getting off. And down we go. Good girl. Tired. And you're exhausted. Are you done with that? Oh, okay. Okay.